oh, why they run like that? <laughs> Man, my mama came out looking like uh, the Gimp from Pulp Fiction, bruh. <laughs> Oh, okay, okay, I, I, let me preface this with, yes, this, this is a little weird, I will uh, wholeheartedly admit that, but this is getting added to the pimp slap list, I, I know you saw that back hair, bruh, that's, oh my god, that's undeniable right there. My goodness, bruh, with all due respect. I, first of all, I'm glad to see that she survived her fight from from a few days ago. But I, at the, at the same time, her face is just it's a lot. It's a lot for me to handle. I I've seen it for a, a pretty decent amount of time, but it's just I can't get used to it. I really can't. I I want to get used to it. I want to you know. But my goodness. Ooh. Oh, I gotta look at the camera, bro. This is a lot. This is this is this is a little. She looked like. She looks like she stuck her head in the garbage disposal, bruh. I'm not, I, I don't, I don't know. I know what happened, cause I've seen it, but like, my goodness. Mm, see, see, uh, see, that's what, that's what smoking that reefer gets you. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this movie was tr like truly a movie that was meant to be watched two times because you it's it's really two different movies the first time and the second time once you know what it's all about and i don't i don't know if i should spoil it or not but man it's fascinating it, it, it's it's crazy again with the running bruh man these, these little niggas run like they stepping on glass or something i don't know what's wrong with them <laughs> Now, now I know, I know I might have said a little bit earlier that she looked like she might have hit butted a computer screen, but I can't, I'm not going to lie to you, bruh. When this scene came on, I was a little, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I don't want to say I, I backtrack a little on my disgust, but I, I might have backtracked a little on my disgust. I, 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 I'm not saying I would. I would, but I wouldn't like. I wouldn't. I mean, nigga, can't. Come on, it's 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 human nature, isn't it? Didn't they say that somewhere? <laughs> Cause really, we when you really think about it, like as as they say, beauty is only skin deep. You know what I'm saying? Like under the bandages, there's a person under there, and you you like we need to we need to be more accepting of how people. You know what I'm saying? Cause you know you know you you know what I'm saying, bro. It's just. I, I know you know what I'm saying. Look, bro, I, I've known crazier. Nah. See, 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 I see. I told y'all, bro. Now, 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 who's the degenerate? <laughs> I, I know it's I know it's still me, but I mean, don't I seem a little bit more reasonable? Just just a little bit. I I think I do. I think I think I think my case is uh, just a little bit. Uh, maybe it's not. I don't know. What I'm talking about. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh that oh man! <laughs> That's all I can say, bruh. That's all I got. That's really all I got, bruh. <laughs> Oh man, I swear, bro. They, them Germans do it different, bro. They on a, they on a whole nother level, man. <laughs> hey, you know what this movie's really good at? You know, b besides besides pip slaps, because you already know they got that on lock. But aside from that, this movie is incredible at confusing you and making sure you don't know what's going on. Because I, I an hour in, I was still incredibly confused. I was more confused than when I started, because it's just. They, they raise all these questions and everybody acts so weird that you don't know, is it? I thought the mom was an alien for the longest time. And, but, you know, 
uh, not to spoil anything for you, she's not. But man, they did a good job of making me think that. Maybe I'm just dumb. Maybe I don't know what's going on. But I, I, I really think they, they, they did a fantastic job at raising questions and making sure until the end you had no idea where the movie was gonna go. So shout out to the directors. I think there's two of them because uh, they did a fantastic job. Oh my nigga. Oh my god. Oh man. Bruh, bruh, both both these little niggas gonna be stars one day. I wish I wish them nothing but the best. This is man. Do you see they form? Bruh, oh my god. You know, I gotta, I gotta give the left one more credit than the right one. The right one, he he pulling his punches, but that left one, that nigga, hey, he got, he earned his paycheck. That's all I'ma say. <laughs> Oh man, this nigga acting like it, it's method acting. He, hey, he trying to be a pimp one day for real. <laughs> oh man, oh man, that little nigga on the left said, "Hey, hey, we we cut when I say cut. <laughs> we don't cut so I didn't start bleeding." <laughs> oh man, bro, I, I love this. I don't know if you can tell, but this is this makes my day every time. I love a good pimp slap, bro. This is beautiful. <laughs> Let me reiterate this point because I, I really think it needs to be said. It's two different movies, bruh. I, I'm sitting here almost crying right now because it's two different movies, man. Crazy. It's that's crazy, dude. Mm. 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 Snapped her back to reality. <laughs> Hey, bro, I got I to gotta commend her acting. Because even when I thought that she was an alien, I still felt a little bad for her. Because, man, it's just, she just looked, man, she, I mean, part of it is because she looked like she got in a train wreck. But also just because it's, it's sad, bro. And, and she conveys that very well, I think. So shout out to her. Miss uh Miss e Ethan Wagen uh Gutenstein, whatever your name is, ma'am. Do you you're doing a, a fantastic job. <laughs> Keep doing your thing, Miss Gutenstein. Hello? Bruh. Who who do you know besides uh home invaders? And, and Tommy and Cole that just pop up in your house w not one time and then just go up in your house without your permission. Bruh. Oh my god. I don't care. Red Cross, no Red Cross. You don't... Nah, bruh. I don't know. May maybe, maybe the culture in Germany is a little bit... You know what? No, nigga, I lived in Germany. No, it's not. Nigga, if, if somebody walked up in our apartment up in Germany and, and with, with one knot, bruh, they getting... How, nigga, nigga, how you say uh, uh, sprayed in German? Get spread. What nigga? The red house gonna get get spread. That's all I'm saying, bro. You don't do that. You don't. You don't do that anywhere. That's weird. You man, come on, bro. Okay. 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 All right. All right. So. At this point in the movie, I was still I was still under the assumption that she was an alien somehow, right? And so even 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 thinking that she was an alien, when I saw these two two little niggas uh glue her super glue, her thin Aryan lips together, bruh, I was I was I was hot. Like I man, it, cause you can't do that. Even even if it is an alien, bro. You can't do that. That's messed up, nigga. That's man. I I whew, I was mad. I wanted to. I want to kick both of them little niggas in the chest. And I'm not even gonna show you what these these niggas do a after this, cause man, I don't even know if I can on YouTube. But this was. This was like on the level of uh, I don't know if y'all ever seen Audition. This was on that level of like torture, bro. This this movie was 
My goodness, it, it was crazy. I, but on that note, this movie was fantastic. I, I highly recommend it. I really think you should watch it. Man, please watch this movie if you get a chance because it's good. It's it's really good. It it keeps you in suspense. You don't know what's going on if you know unless you're you know unless you're a genius or whatever. But most people won't know what's going on, and I I really like that about it, bro. It was fantastic really well done the twist was i mean it's it's not a twist that like you've never seen before but it's a twist that it's it's good it's very well executed i i've really enjoyed it all all the way through man it was good if i had to give it a rating i'd give it a 8.13 out of a 8.16 Yeah, that sounds about right. I hope y'all have a fantastic day. And until next time, love, peace, and, um, I don't know. Yeah, peace out, y'all. Okay, so if you stayed up until this point, uh, what's good? Shout out to you. You, you man, ooh, or woman, you cool. I, I, I like you. But, uh, yeah, I wanted to talk about some of the spoilers uh, in this movie because, you know, you can't really say too much about it without, you know, ruining the movie for people. So I'm going to talk about some of that stuff here. So if you've seen this movie or you just you don't want to see it for whatever reason, you really should, by the way. But if you don't, it, for whatever reason, if you're here and you want to talk about the, the plot of the movie, let's talk about it real quick. So for you niggas that, you know, didn't want to watch the movie and you don't know what happened, basically what, what happened in the movie is that the the mom she uh well let's start with the kids uh there's only one kid it looks like there's two it looks like they're twins there were twins but one of them drowned in a lake and so that's the the movie revolves around this big accident that happened but it really wasn't an accident well, it kind of was the little nigga drowned, but uh, you, you think it's like a car accident because her face is all messed up at the beginning, and like you're like, oh, oh, she got you know her her face got totaled, but it didn't. It, she just she got cosmetic surgery because she wanted to like redo her life or whatever, you know, like start fresh after her her kid died and her husband left. But what ultimately happens is the the little the the kid that survived, he you know he ain't right in the head. His brother died. His mom was like real depressed. She's getting cosmetic surgery getting a bbl all this stuff so i mean she ain't she ain't right you know what i'm saying so nobody in that house is right at this point so he's you know he thinks his mom was taken by aliens and replaced her with a new mom and she's you know out here eating cockroaches and stuff and going crazy but really he's feeding her cockroaches and he's doing all this crazy stuff he's the he's the one perpetuating all this crazy stuff and it's going the recording stopped, but I'm back. So he, he's perpetuating all this stuff, and everything's uh, the, everything's in his head. So like when her head starts going crazy, that's a dream. Because right after her head goes crazy, he wakes up. So I didn't realize that at first, but the second time through, I'm like, oh, this little nigga was dreaming. Because he, he dreamed earlier in the movie, and I guess that was their way of kind of like setting up that he dreams crazy things, and it's not, you know. But it also, like, on the first time through, you think, you're thinking like she's a witch or whatever. But she's not. She she's just a normal little uh little white lady. But the the main point is that now that the kid's crazy, the mom, she instead of trying to communicate with the kid and, you know, talk to him on his level and explain what happened to his little brother, she just tries to play along with the 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 one that survived and act like the dead brother is still alive cuz like the dead brother is still alive in the the uh, the crazy little kid's head. He's still, you know, he's still with him. They still hanging out and playing Uno or whatever. He's this little nigga crazy. So, but she tries. She she enables that craziness. So it's all her fault essentially. But yeah, well not all her fault. But you know what I mean, nigga. But ultimately, of course, that comes back to bite her because the son he ends up you know torturing her and killing her because he thinks that his his dead brother is telling him to do it. So yeah, that's a lesson to all you parents out there. 
don't don't enable you, you whoa don't enable your little big headed kids how about that i couldn't get it out but you you knew what i was gonna say <laughs> but yeah not like now i hope it makes sense why i said earlier that this is incredibly sad because you're watching the mom get tortured like initially the the director he makes you think or the directors they make you think that it's an alien getting tortured and you know it's like it's justified a little bit because you know you know aliens they they got oh i'm i'm not gonna finish that sentence but the space aliens they gotta go right so like you think you you know you, you feel a little less bad about it but then once you watch it again and you realize that it's humans we're talking about then you know it's you know it, it's it's uh it hurts a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Because you watch her crying and getting her lip, like, she got her lips sliced up, bro. That was, oh, my God, that was bad. And then, ultimately, she gets burned alive. I'm saying ultimately, oh, my God. And then, ultimately, I don't know where I left off, but we're starting here. And then, ultimately, she gets burned alive, and and her son dies, too. And it's just, or pres presumably, uh, oh, my God, I can't say big words today. <laughs> but, yeah, man, overall, it was just, it was good. It was a really good movie. I Even even if you didn't watch it and you sat through this, I still think you should see it, bro, because it's just, it's really good. I, I can't. I can't talk about, I mean, I can't explain everything the way, like, I can't explain the feeling you, you, you're gonna get if you, if you watch this movie, so, uh, I, man, just watch it, have a fantastic day, peace out, y'all, I, I, that's enough rambling, bye!